of these trips while I still can. I got another baby coming on March 1st. That's the expected due date. So I'm really excited to have a second kid, but my free time is gonna take a hit. Just waiting for Natasha now. I feel like a kid waiting for Christmas. I'm excited to get out and dive off the boat too. Special treat. What's up, man? picked up by Natasha and a crew of us made our way over to Gabriel Island. We swung by Connor's place and picked him up and made our way to the marina. We anchored the boat, jumped in the water, and got exploring. At the first part, we had some pretty good visibility, and there were plenty of greenling and rockfish around. Sunstars, which is the urchin's natural predator. It's quite devastating to see the effects the urchins are having on local reefs. After only finding smaller juvenile lingcod, we decided to pack up and move to another spot. in the 20 meter range, but Natasha shot a big lingcod in shallow water, so I decided to try my luck out there. And success.
We had a pretty epic day today. Uh, both Natasha and I got a pretty big lingcock. It's the biggest one I shot this year. Uh, everyone else limited out on Greenling and they got the rockfish, which was great. Uh, big, big thanks to Mike and Sue Reed for letting us take your boat out. That was a lot of fun. Uh, thanks, Connor, for the invite. Uh, you're all great hosts. Wicked time, yeah. Really excited for tomorrow, too. Gonna be heading out with Tom doing that, that dinghy dive. Uh, early morning, I'll be up at uh, probably 6 a.m. And Riley's gonna come out for the adventure. He got tomorrow off, so he's gonna join. Uh, I came here to Blueback to watch the sunset, but went down into the clouds, so didn't get to catch it, but still a beautiful spot here. Anyways, uh, excited for tomorrow. Gonna head home, uh, go to bed, and see what tomorrow has in store. Bud's made of uh, teak, triple glands. Uh, he actually dipped this into beeswax, so mm -hmm. you know how it is. Nice. Because it's a new idea. It's offset. He also offset the lines here about a, a, a quarter of an inch to kind of have them not rub as much. If you notice mine yeah. at the bottom, the rubbing. Uh, this is a whole new design, laser cut, individually laser cut and tumbled rolled. So this is a new design. He extended it here to avoid pinch points. Mm. The Dyneema, it's the high strength. The to answer ass. your question, no monofilament because monofilament, the second you get a little cut, it propagates. Yeah. Dyneema, even if you were to cut this halfway, yeah. it would still have over three to 400 pounds of breaking force. Yeah. And this is what a perfection he is. He's like, see Luca, it's not perfectly angled. And I'm like, what are you talking about? So he's sending you another one as a backup for free. <laughs> the crew of us met up, we jumped in Tom's dinghy and we got cruising, looking for some new spots. place to forget my flashlight. I always feel guilty when I shoot a fish and it gets free, but after reviewing this footage and seeing a big link cut snatch up a rockfish I just shot, it makes me feel much better.
decided to do a little hike uh, to end up this trip. Uh, shout out to uh, uh, Luca. I met him today. He's with Sea to Sky Freediving. Uh, great guy, super, super nice. Nice to meet him finally. Uh, shout out to Tom again. You're a great guy, man. Thanks for bringing me out on your boat and to that spot. Everyone on board got fish. It was a phenomenal day and probably one of my best dives. Uh, I can't get enough of British Columbia. Look at those spectacular views, that sunset. It's never ending paradise here. We're so fortunate to be on this uh, side of Canada, this side of the world for that matter. Anyways, I'm beat. Today was a long day. Yesterday was a long day. I got one more, one more day here in Nanaimo, but yeah, I'm gonna call it quits and relax tomorrow.